circular motion. It's really easy. But you got to understand that when something goes in a circle, even if its speed is not changing, it is accelerating. So imagine an object going in a circle at a constant speed. You might think it's not accelerating because its speed isn't changing. V1 is going to be equal to V2. But here, it's going to the right. After a while going around the circle, at this point, it's going down. If it's going at a constant speed, then these two vectors are going to be the same size. It hasn't sped up and it hasn't slowed down, but its velocity has for sure changed. And remember, that's the definition of acceleration. Rate of change of velocity, not speed. I know we think of accelerating as speeding up, but in physics, acceleration means speeding up. It also means slowing down, and it also means turning, changing your direction, because a change in direction is a different velocity. 10 meters per second to the right is not the same velocity as 10 meters per second down. They're different speeds, different velocities rather, therefore the object has accelerated. You could also think of it when you're driving a car. If you try to turn your car, you need some force to turn the car. On an icy day, if you try to turn the car, it goes straight because of Newton's first law. You need friction from the tires to force the car to turn. That should tell you there's an unbalanced force and you know Newton's laws mean if there's an unbalanced force, then the car has to be accelerated. So, you've got to know, A, when there's circular motion, there is for sure acceleration. You've got to know, B, that acceleration is directed towards the center of the circle. So at spot one here, this car is accelerating, so I do that in blue, it is accelerating towards the center of the circle. That would be the direction of the acceleration at spot one. But over here at spot two, the car would be accelerating to the left. So in circular motion, the direction of the acceleration is towards the center of the circle. The direction of the motion is tangential to the circle. Which way is the thing accelerating right here? It's accelerating towards the center of the circle, so up 45 right. Which way is it going? It's going tangentially to the circle, so up 45 left. That's the way it's going, that's the way it's accelerating. Okay. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Objects going in a circle are for sure accelerating. That acceleration is directed towards the center of the circle. And how do you calculate how big it is? That's what these formulas are for. Technically this formula is for the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration. When something's going in a circle, this is called centripetal acceleration, AC. You can think of it as circular though, AC for circular. No big deal. It turns out that it's the speed squared divided by the radius, the radius of the circle. This is assuming it's going at a constant speed for the whole circle or the instantaneous speed at any one spot, but that's no big deal. Sometimes, though, we don't know the speed of the object. Sometimes we know how long it takes to do a full circle. We call that the period, T. Using a little bit of math, you can show that if you know the distance it traveled, which is 2 pi r, and you know the speed v, if you shove those things in for v and square it, you should be able to see how you can get this second version of the formula. 4 pi squared r over t squared. Try it if you're not sure, but you should be able to do it. At the end of the day, though, you just want to memorize that formula. If I tell you the period of the object's circle, how long it takes to do a loop, then you can calculate the centripetal acceleration required using this formula. Sometimes when things do really fast circular motion, we don't talk about the period of their motion, but we talk about the frequency of their rotation. In which case, since frequency is 1 over t, the formula becomes 4 pi squared r f squared. Frequency squared. No big deal. So, a couple of things that you want to make sure that you understand. Uniform circular motion. Circular motion at a constant speed is still acceleration. The acceleration is directed towards the center of the circle and it is given, its magnitude is given by one of these three formulas.